Old Joe was a big old man, 286 foot three. But he was a general giant, he wouldn't hurt a flea. But there comes a time in every man's life when if a line has been crossed, They've had all that they can take, no matter how gentle they are. And such was the case last Saturday night. Some whippersnapper showed up at the ball. He was looking for a fight. He wanted to challenge the biggest man that was there so he walked over to old Joe's table and pulled up a chair Joe nodded at him when he came over and sat down the whippersnapper gave Joe a sneer and also a frown Joe just looked away and lifted up his glass for a drink. Whippersnapper knocked Joe's elbows down while giving a girl at the bar a wink. And he kept pushing him until it went there. He kept pushing him until old Joe didn't care. Then after it was on, Whippersnapper wished he'd left old Joe alone. But he kept pushing him until it went there. Joe said, I don't know what your problem is, son, or your intent. But I'm gonna let it slide and chalk it all up as an accident. Whippersnapper replied, it was no accident, you big old fool. And you'll find out my intent by the time I get through with you. And yet old Joe was still willing to forget about it all but whippersnapper continued to antagonize Joe push him up against the wall and looking at Joe I could tell the moment when everything changed Joe stretched himself and his face turned red he looked like a steam train Whippersnapper that night wound up in a hospital bed. But old Joe could have just as easily sent him to the morgue instead. Like I've already said earlier, some folks just don't know how to leave well enough alone. Like this tale between old Joe and Whippersnapper. And Shown. Yeah, he kept pushing him until it went there. He kept pushing him until old Joe did not care. Then after it was on, whippersnapper wished he'd left old Joe alone. But he kept pushing him. Till it went there